Having your dairy animal clipped up for show day will improve her style and overall appearance. First and foremost, you'll need the proper equipment. First, a large clipper that you'll use to clip most of the body. Andes and Osculop are common brands, and NASCO is a great place to shop for them online. It is a good idea to get two sets of blades so you have a spare on hand. A small clipper for more fine clipping areas like ears, tails, and udders. Lubricant for your clipper blades to keep them sharp and cool. Blow dryer for blowing up top line hair. Splurge on a nice salon style professional blow dryer with a good funnel like airflow concentrator attachment. Top line brush. Denman is the brand preferred by most fitters. Hair adhesive for setting the top line. Clear Magic is a common product used for top lines. This can leave a white residue on the hair, so if you have a black or other colored animal, you will want to get a colored spray, such as Black Magic, to cover that up. Lastly, but very importantly, you'll need extension cords and a power strip. Then find yourself a well-lit, level-floored spot to get clipping. Your animal should be clean and dry when you are ready to start clipping her. If possible, it is best if your animal is freshly washed. Get out your blow dryer and brush and roughly blow up her top line. Work your blow dryer and brush as if they were joined, holding them at a slight angle along the side of the top line. Blow the top line hair against the direction it naturally lies to get it standing up. Be careful to focus the dryer's heat onto the hair, not the animal's spine or skin. This is going to take several passes, but the cleaner the animal and the more you work with her hair, the easier this will get. Once you have the top line hair blown up, start clipping on the body leaving a few inches on both sides of her top line from the base of her neck to the top of her tail head. An important tip is to always clip against the grain of the hair. Run the clipper over her body taking long steady strokes. You want the body of the clipper nearly lying flush with her body, never chopping straight at her on a 90 degree angle. Most people typically start from the back of the animal and work their way forward. A good flow would be to start with the tail and rump, then the body, legs, head and neck, and finally the top line. For the tail, find where her switch begins. Then make a fist around her tail above that point. That's where you'll want to start clipping. From the top of your hand up to the rump. Here's where you may want to use the smaller, finer clippers if you have one. Use it to clip the longer hairs on her vulva too. Stop at the base of the tail and switch to the larger clipper over her pins and rump. Leave the top line hair over the base of the tail head for blending in later. Then work your way onto clipping her body. This is where long, smooth strokes parallel along her body are very important. Starting with her thigh area, clip the entire body, leaving a 2 to 3 inch strip down her back including the chine, loin, rump, and tail head. This hair will eventually be blended to form the top line. When it comes to her belly hair, some more experienced fitters like to leave the belly hair on heifers and blend it in with the rest of her body. This takes a great deal of practice to refine your technique so it looks natural. So if you're a beginner, you can go ahead and clip it off like you do the rest of the body.
If you are clipping a milking cow, you'll want to clip off her belly hair and use the smaller, finer clipper on the lower body wall to expose her milk veins. For the udder itself, use the smaller clipper again to remove as much hair as possible, but be very careful clipping udders as the skin is very delicate. Be sure to clip the parts of the udder inside the leg. Next, you'll want to work on her hind legs. Work your way all around her legs, making sure you get the inside of her legs too. Legs can be tricky with all the small curves and crevices, but keep at it. Be patient and gentle, and pay attention to the angles. Always keep your free hand on your animal so she knows where you are and doesn't get surprised. Once you have the hind legs finished, move on to the front legs. As you work your way up to the neck and eventually the head, start by clipping her brisket, then up to her neck, beginning inside her point of shoulder. Go straight up from the point of shoulder to the top of the shoulder blade, again leaving the strip of hair you've started to blow up for the top line. Use the large clipper on her head. Then use the small clipper on the insides and edges of her ears. Don't use the large clipper on ears. They are delicate too. When clipping heads, it's sometimes easier if you have access to headlocks. Otherwise, you'll need to loosen up the halter as you work over her head and make sure you get all the hair. This is another area that the hair swirls in many directions, so you'll need to work the clipper angles carefully. Make sure to get behind her pole and trim her whiskers, but be careful not to take off her eyelashes.
Now that the full body is clipped, you can begin to hone in her top line. The idea is to make her look level and straight over the top line. Get out your blow dryer and brush again and give the top line another blowout. Once the hair you left on the spine is all standing up, start trimming it into a well-blended wedge shape over her spine. Think wedge shape, not mohawk. A trick on doing top lines is to use two hands on the clipper to keep it steady. You can leave one hand on the clipper body and the fingertips from your other hand can be placed on the edge of the clipper blade to help guide it. Take a little bit off at a time until you have it trimmed down to your liking. Then give it another blowout and apply some adhesive. Once the adhesive is set, trim it one more time to catch stray hairs and hone it in tightly. Use a soft brush to remove all excess hair and debris. Take the heifer for a walk to ensure the top line looks straight when she's out on the move. If you are just practicing clipping at home before the show, make sure you wash her often to give her a healthy coat of hair and pay particular attention to keeping the top line clean. You will want to get the adhesive washed out of her top line right after the show or any time you use adhesive spray on her at home too. This will only help your animal's appearance and make clipping and blowing up top lines easier down the road. Try to have your animal freshly clipped a day or two before the show. Wash her early the morning of the show so she has plenty of time to dry and allow extra time on show day to blow up her top line and give her a few final touches. Before she heads to the ring, Spray her body with a little bit of show sheen spray, put on some fly spray on her belly and legs, and fluff out her tail switch with your top line brush. For more information and specifics on clippers and blade sizes to consider buying, refer to the Holstein Foundation's Show Ring Ready Workbook, which is free to download at www.holsteinfoundation.org. Good luck at the shows!